Hey guys, welcome to Legit Street Cars. In today's video, we are inspecting a supercharged G55 AMG that my friend Phil just bought. He flew into town. His friend picked it up with a truck and a trailer, and I think I think it's behind me. Yes, and it's smoking. It's smoking because he bought it with a blown engine for a smoking deal. All right, so this is the first time I've seen it. I like it so far. It sounds kind of bad. It made it over here. <laughs> it made it. <laughs> It sounds really bad. So they just uh, got this off the trailer and parked the truck and trailer far, far away because it would get stuck here. And now we're gonna, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I cleared a path, although we probably didn't need it for this thing. All right, so this is my buddy, Phil. You guys don't know Phil specifically by face, but you know of all of his parts because they're pretty much all over my car. So Phil owns VRP Victory Road Performance in Virginia, although you moved out of Virginia. Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs, okay. So VRP is still around and kicking and that is why he bought this. So what are you gonna do to this thing? So we are gonna take our 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger and have it installed. Craig from Modern Masters is here. He's gonna do it out of West Virginia. But this has a blown motor, uh, cylinder eight popped on it, unfortunately. So we're gonna pull it out. We got a motor from a CL55 with like 78,000 miles we're gonna drop in. And it came with the this G55, it came right? with this G. Is so it on the truck? It is in the truck, yep. So oh this is God. kind of a crazy story. I posted that I was putting a Whipple on a G-Wagon and the owner of this messaged me and said, hey, can I get a Whipple for mine? And I said, yeah, sure, no problem. And he ended up telling me the motor was blown. I was like, well, I haven't actually bought my G-Wagon yet, so do you want to sell yours? And he ended up wanting to sell it. Uh, it turns out he also had an E55 and a Mars Red SL55, so I picked up both of those as well. So <laughs> this has been a spendy week for me. This is like the worst possible time to come here. We've had like two feet of snow, so now you have to trailer. Well, you're just trailering this right we're now? We're just trailering this. Okay, and then you got to come back for the other cars? Got to come back. And it's got your little heat exchanger, it looks like. It does. It looks clean, though. I mean, like, the body's straight. It has a 63 conversion, mirrors and front end. Oh, wow. Wait, the, were these the seats that came with an 05? No, custom Yeah, yeah, okay. No, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, these, are, these aren't even Mercedes. Wow, look at this. Dude, what in the world? <laughs> All the way through the back, even the back door has the red molding on it. Man, this guy spent some coin on this. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's got some oil, of course. Okay, so that's the bumper from the SL, right? It is. So I was under the impression that the guys selling this weren't sure that the engine was blown up, or maybe Phil didn't know for sure if the engine's blown up. That happens sometimes, like on my C63, the guy thought the engine was basically blown up and I fixed it for a hundred bucks right here, right here in this driveway. Um, but he says the cylinder eight, right? Yep. Cylinder eight is uh, is busted. The piston, I take it? Yes. Yeah, okay, so here she is. God, how, how do you think they, they did that? So actually somebody against uh, everyone's recommendations decided to replace the rings and bearings on the factory motor. Uh, Why? Without recoding the block but like why 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 did they mess with it in the first place um so it originally blew because they put a 74 millimeter fixed pulley on it without putting a tune on the car, <laughs> and the motor blew the first time then they did a rebuild rather than putting a new motor in and this is the rebuilt motor which now has the cylinder eight filled. okay but the one the motor you got is a totally factory untouched the motor, motor i got is a 78,000 mile c perfect motor from LKQ. so what did you pay for this with that motor um, so for the G wagon, I paid 35 with the motor. With the motor? Yes. Clean title? Clean title. These things hold their value like crazy, especially the supercharged G55 because it's basically the best of everything. Super reliable engine. I say that as I stand next to one with a blown engine, but under normal circumstances, very reliable engine that you can tune and modify, uh, as you guys have seen on the channel very easily and make gobs and gobs of horsepower. And then if you do it right and get a tune, they don't blow up. And it's got the G63 front end and mirrors and a bunch of other stuff. I actually like these wheels. They're not bad. Look at these spacers. Wow. Wow. You know what I didn't realize is the G55 comes with little puny brakes. Like they don't even give you big Brembos on these. Yeah, it sure does. That is weird. All right, so we're just checking out under the hood and I found something that you don't really see every day under the hood of a car, and that is a speaker. And the speaker is just using the speaker magnet to attach itself to the uh, <laughs> to the engine compartment here. What What is going on? Oh, this speaker's not even plugged in, but the wires are right there. 
It did go to what, a... What are we doing with the speaker here, guys? I have no idea. <laughs> There's like a walkie-talkie thing in the center console in there. I don't know. I was are you to serious? It, it didn't do anything. I was unhappy. I turned it off. <laughs> if you guys see a speaker under the hood, you should ask some questions. That's for sure. This is not normal at all. I'm a little baffled. I kind of want to see, you know, I want to see it work. But here's the intercooler pump right here. Is that a, That's one of the good ones, right? Zero, one, zero, yep. Nice, nice. It's got a new alternator I can see. It looks shiny and new. And factory exhaust. Ooh, fixed 74 millimeter pulley, no tune. Factory nice. exhaust manifolds. That equals, you know, kaboom in the world of M113K. So do not do that. This is not the normal. Split All right, let's fire this thing up. Let's, let's see what a blown M113K with a bad piston sounds like. It's still going to sound good. It's funny, like you can trick yourself into thinking there's nothing wrong with this engine right now. It runs smooth. But this thing has a totally dead cylinder. It's amazing. It's smoking too, obviously. Oh, the bad piston, it's just eating oil. Oh, there we go. Now, now that it's idled down a little bit, it's a little shaky. But not that bad. Not as bad as you would think for literally having a bad piston. Ah, uh, you can hear it. Not good. Give her some beans, Phil. Eh, still sounds pretty good. These things have always sound good, even stock. All right, so let's lift it up in the air. This was kind of a really shady deal. Phil didn't really want to go into too many details, but the whole purchasing of this car and the other ones was, was a little odd. So there could be more suspect things underneath. And there definitely is. But before that, a moment for today's video sponsor, Ritual, a multivitamin I take to fill the gap in my not so perfect diet. Ritual is a multivitamin that doesn't contain any filler, colorants, or shady additives. They make vitamins for everyone and I'm taking their Essential for Men 18 and over formula. Each capsule is gentle on the stomach, sugar-free, gluten-free, and everything Ritual does is fully transparent including their capsules and they contain 10 nutrients that are difficult for men to get from their normal diet alone. Now, my favorite parts here is this, a little mint tab that keeps everything minty fresh. Ritual is delivered right to your door with no strings attached. And if you go to ritual.com slash legit or use coupon code legit, you're gonna get 10% off your first three months. Big thanks to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get to some more hackery, if you will, on this G55. So we're gonna lift it up, make sure this thing doesn't have any crazy frame damage or anything major wrong with it other than the blown engine. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna drive it over to the uh, the truck with the ML, just in case, just in case it breaks down, because they really haven't had a chance to drive it, nor should they, uh, in its condition right now. Woo! This thing hasn't been started in a long time. It's about to get stuck in the driveway. All right. All right, so we got the G-Wagon up on the rack. It's always a little sketch racking these things. Um, but let's take a look at the condition. I noticed right away that the front differential pinion is leaking. No biggie, it's actually really easy. There's a ton of room on these. Uh, we got some oil leaking here. Yeah, I think that's a side effect of the blown engine for sure. <laughs> or the cost. Yeah, one of the two. Um, let's see. This diff looks okay. These things are so beefy. Bill stains, factory exhaust. You can see the Mercedes part number right there. A little hole in the muffler. Look at that, they chopped the cats out with a tiny little pipe there. That is horrible. Probably gained absolutely nothing from that, unless they were replaced because they were rattling. And then what is going on right here? Yeah, that's the regulator and the fuel filter. I don't know what, this connector is not plugged into that. That's a little odd. And then what's really odd, we just got, you know, an O2 sensor just hanging out. He, he was, <laughs> like a real nice brand new looking O2 sensor with the anti-seize on there ready to go in. What? <laughs> I was curious why the secondary O2 light was on. I was going to say there was a check engine light. You have a front locking, a rear locking differential. You have a locking transfer case. Um, just an absolute off-road monster. And I believe this is aftermarket. I don't remember seeing a skid plate like this, um, but if it's not beefy piece, really nice. Here is the engine oil cooler. 
that you see on the other M113K cars. So you have the primary heat exchanger here, and then it actually has a uh, secondary heat exchanger like you guys have seen in my E55 cars. Um, and it's from VRP, although it's not really made for the G-Wagon, it fits nonetheless. Here's another O2 sensor. They left the plastic cap over it, so it just melted on there. Very strange, very strange. They're probably kind of expensive. But other than that, it, it looks great under here. I'm not seeing any frame damage, not seeing any real, you know, use off-road where you see all the suspension components all scraped up. Like a lot of G-Wagons, this one was probably all for show, and they were trying to make it go a little bit faster, unfortunately, on a budget because they kind of hacked it together and blew the engine. But uh, other than that, I like it. You know, about 150,000 miles. It looks really good on my rack next to the CL65, that's for sure. This is the perfect ride height in my opinion. Look at that. Perfect. It's too bad they didn't come like that from the factory. Watch this. Ugh. Wow, it keeps on going. Jeez, what is this thing, lowered? Wow, much different. I liked it before. So if it was 2005, we'd have $324,000 worth of Mercedes in the garage right now, but because of depreciation and many, many issues, blown engine, leaking engine, and bad ABC pump. That was $10,000 and that was $35,000. So for the cost of about what the taxes would have been here in Chicago on buying these, we have both the vehicles in the garage. So just had to wait 16 years. So it's got an aftermarket radio, kind of a weird key. I don't know if this is a cover over it or if some of them came all black. I don't really remember that. Bunch of lights, of course. Ooh, a little past due on the old service there, 159,000. So we're gonna go to uh, load this back up on the truck and take a look at this spare engine that they got. 78,000 mile engine. So just a normal day, normal day for me driving a supercharged G55 with a broken piston through the biggest snowstorm Chicago has seen, I think in like 30 years. Still a beast. There's a door open though. <laughs> Dude, these things are monsters though. No limits on a G55. Woo! <laughs> Doing a little better than that squad car. <laughs> if only the police had G-Wagons, no one would get away. Not even in the snow. All right, let's see here. We got a nice mound. We got no problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is Chicago off-roading right here, fellas. This is how we do out in the Chi-Town. We just plow into big mounds of snow where people haven't parked yet. And here is the CL55 engine. So it comes with the harness, it looks like, 70-something thousand miles, no supercharger, but in this case, that doesn't matter since the G55 is getting Phil's gigantic 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger. So not a bad deal overall. This thing looks really, really straight. I know you're not supposed to look at a car in the middle of a snowstorm when it's wet, but this thing really does look nice. It doesn't have any rust buildup. Say what you will about the interior. I wouldn't have chosen this personally myself, but if it was already here, um, probably wouldn't do much about it. So they did a really good job though, I must say. And then I don't remember these coming with an Alcantara headliner or suede headliner, and this one's got it. So that's really nice. It's in pretty good shape too. And then the best part of a G-Wagon is that positive engagement door latch. Look at that. It sounds so good. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a military vehicle. It's a tank. And look at, they debadged it. I don't know why you would do that. I would totally represent the fact that I have a G55 AMG. People are gonna think this is a G500, especially because it has aftermarket rims. So personally, I would put the G55 right back on this thing and show everybody that this was probably the best one they made. It's not an ML55, but uh, you know, I think it'll do. Look at that, we have the exhaust coming out of the side pipe and a tiny little bit of exhaust coming out of the hole in the muffler and 
and probably a little bit from the flange and wherever else they welded their little pipe to. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you guys want to see more on the G55 AMG build, then check out VRP Speed on Instagram and Modern Masters Auto as well. They're going to be doing the build in West Virginia. And then Phil said he's going to be driving this thing through Chicago when it's a little bit nicer out. Uh, so you guys are going to see a video on my thoughts of a Whipple supercharged G55 when it's not snowy out. And I have a feeling there's going to be quite a few tires spinning in that video. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and most importantly, stay warm and have an awesome day. I'll catch all of you in the next one.